I want you to hit me as hard as you can. Today we're making epic burgers. Epic burgers for an epic movie. And burgers are pretty much the perfect summer food. Much like our nachos, you don't really need a whole lot to make burgers. You just need ground meat, usually beef. You need cheese. You might think to yourself, you don't need cheese, but yes, you do. And you need buns. Everything after this point is really just your choice. You could put on onion, tomato, avocado, lettuce, but you don't have to. And same thing goes for your condiments. You can put on mayonnaise, ranch, relish, pickles, ketchup, barbecue sauce, mustard, but you don't have to. And for our purposes today, we're going to be keeping our toppings and condiments to a minimum. Now whenever I make burgers, I always add stuff to my meat. I use horseradish, stone ground mustard, Worcestershire sauce, a little bit of breadcrumbs to soak up that extra moisture, and then I add in two eggs, it's going to help keep it all together. And then I just get in there and I mix it up with my hands. It's kind of gross, but it's the best way to get it done. From there, we form it into large burger patties. Because we don't mess around when it comes to burgers. And then we go straight into a hot skillet. You want to flip the burger patty when you can see that it's cooked about halfway up the side. Right here, when it's just about done, take a thin little piece of butter, put it right on top, cover that up with your cheese, hit the pan with about two tablespoons of water, and then cover it up. The reason we do this is because a few seconds later, it gives us this. Oh. Our plating is really simple. Put a bun down, condiments and toppings of your choice, whatever they may be. Put the burger patty down. More condiments, more toppings if you so choose. And then the top of the bun. After all that, you didn't think we were just going to leave you with one burger, did you? No. We got something special planned. We started off with the Hulk by putting one burger patty down. Then we topped that burger patty with bacon that we cooked earlier. Yeah, you know you want it. Then we put another burger patty down on top of that because the Hulk is a big guy. And then we topped that with our homemade guacamole which we made using avocado, tomato, onion, garlic, lime juice, and salt. And then we just mixed it all together. Oh, look at that. I got no plans tomorrow night. For Captain America, first we made a grilled cheese sandwich. Then we put a burger patty on top of that. And then we topped it with more bacon. You remember. We topped the bacon with dill pickle slices. And then we made another grilled cheese sandwich and put that on top. Because what is more American than that? Hi everyone, I'm Adam and this is a Baby Pub in Sitka, Alaska. And we're going to be making a few drinks for you. First one we're going to make is the Old Fashioned. It makes me think of Captain America. It's simple, it's strong, it's from the 30s and 40s, just like Captain Cell. First the sugar cube, three or four dashes of bitters, a splash of water. I'm going to muddle that up, make it into a syrup. Add two and a half ounces of rye whiskey. Nice big ice cube. Give it a nice little stir. Finish it off with a swath of lemon peel, like so. For Iron Man, we made a stuffed burger, so first we flattened out half of our meat, and then we made an over-easy egg. 
Once the egg was cooked, we put it right inside of the burger. And once the egg was sealed up in there tight, we wrapped the entire thing in prosciutto. Next trick I chose is called the Brainstorm. Just like Ultron himself, it's sleek, it's strong, it's a great idea, but it'll kick your ass. First, ounce and a half of bourbon, three quarter ounce of Benedictine, a full ounce of dry vermouth, add ice, and stir. After you've stirred for about a minute, Strain it into a coop. And a swath of orange on top. And there you have the brainstorm. You amazingly failed. For Black Widow, we did another stuffed burger, but this time we stuffed it with a sweet and spicy onion marmalade. Now we made that by putting a lot of butter in a pan and then sautéing onions until they became glossy. Then we added brown sugar and we mixed it around until it began to caramelize. After that we just hit it with Sri Raja hot sauce. We mixed it up and we put it right inside the burger. honor of the god of thunder and lightning himself, Thor. That's the best you can do! Called the Electric Mayhem. First thing, shot of red whiskey. A little bit of pickle juice. Dash of sriracha. Take the shot, finish with the pickle juice. Enjoy the movie.